Hello everyone, Jeff here, and today we're checking out a pirate survivor game called Sea of Survivors. Well, I don't know if we're pirates, but we're on a boat, which is pretty great. Um, I want to check out the options real quick, so it's going to be these indie games don't have a lot. I noticed uh, this one has like full sound controls, which I appreciate greatly as someone recording the game, because sometimes the music's too loud or the ambience or the sound effects. Something's too loud, we might change as we go. Also, like screen size is kind of nice and we can change it between tank controls and camera i am old so i like tank controls but you know so one thing to make note of i have not done a run yet i normally do one of these first before i turn it on but i saw my buddy ghost playing a run of this about a week ago so i felt like i didn't really need to uh do a practice run because it looked good enough all right so the way this works is that it looks like there's four weapon slots and there's power up nodes in between the weapons. So you can go with sabers, barrels and a ram. Um, I'm kind of curious about the saber. I'm just going to throw it in this top right here. So it looks like it does 20 damage, 30 percent. Got a full stat screen. I like this looks like our ship stats, probably click to continue sailing. We got a 20 minute timer also. So, looks like we're controlled with our mouse. It's pretty smooth. Mind you, we are a ship, so it's not, um... You can't really turn on a dime. Maybe that's something you can upgrade. Possibly. I can't. Please. Come back. Okay, let's, let's do this way. Um, I'm also noticing that there's no, uh... No, like, XP drops on the ground. You just get stuff get xp from killing enemies which i wish more survivors games had because i kind of hate that mechanic projectiles light enemies on fire that sounds amazing although we're using swords take less damage ship turns faster okay i really want burn but since we're a saber build let's do this we have plus one turning i wonder how how much that actually is um i do think it's a little better actually it looks like we have 5 HP. We are chopping up these rowboats. Get absolutely wrecked. Uh, we don't seem to have any, like, dash or anything like that. I'm not surprised. I was just messing around with buttons. Turns faster again. Increased chance to crit. Now, if we put this here, it should increase this. All right, and sword has 300% crit damage, so some base crit would be nice. Neat. So there is gold to pick up off the ground, but that's not experience. That's completely separate. And I'm assuming gold is for meta progression of some kind. I don't really know yet. This game is still in early-ish testing. I don't know exactly the release date if i see it i'll throw it up on the screen but right now i'm not sure uh i would like cannons thank you i'm just gonna put i'm actually gonna put the cannons right here um am i able to take all of these is this a bug oh no it didn't i can change my mind after seeing the stats that's cool i like that All right, now we got sabers and cannons. I don't know what they're gonna do. Uh, apparently they're gonna explode. Um, weapons do more damage, ship turns faster. I'm gonna put weapons do more damage right here and I'm gonna try and link these two. Weapons fire faster, yeah. Yeah, that seems good. We apparently got a lot of XP from that little explosion. We also lost some life during it. So maybe we should find some max HP. I want crit chance up. All right. Um, interesting note. The sword's only getting five chance to crit, even though it's connected to this. In, or is that after? Oh, this is current and this is after, I bet. The next part there. I bet when we go back to the level up screen, the sword's gonna have a 10% chance. So it shows your, um, shows the updates you made. 
Yeah. That's a little bug there. It doesn't uh, update until after you've clicked this. Take less damage. Weapons fire faster. I mean, I'm going to keep taking weapons fire faster, I feel like. That's really good. Although it doesn't seem to affect... Wait. Oh, uh, we... Well, we could still do this. Uh, no. Yeah, let's just take armor. Since we are dying currently. Maybe as a result of playing melee on our ship build, which has, um... Again, the controls aren't bad. They're... We're just a boat. <laughs> Increased max health? That seems like something I'm interested in. Oh, straight up, it gave us like a whole new bar. Oh, there's healing on the ground. Uh, on the water? Healing on the water? Let's go pick that up. Um, but yeah. You know what? Let me look. Alright, so I just took a look. The game actually does not even have a release date yet, and they have been making... Um, I joined their Discord. I'll put their Discord link in the uh, description. They've been making quite a few upgrades to this, uh, I've seen, since I was reached out to by the devs. Uh, which is kind of impressive, like, how fast that's been going on. Weapons shoot more projectiles. That is what I want. Add spinning anchors to the side of your ship. Oh man, I kind of like that, too. But what if we do that? Yeah. Ooh, it's like, uh... What's the... I mean, it's an orbiting weapon, right? Like, I was gonna say it's like, whatever, but... It, it's an orbiting weapon. We, we know what it is. Uh, it seems pretty good. Take less damage, do more damage max health. I think we want to do more damage and I think we could just throw it right here. I love that we get to see all the effects we're getting and like the totals afterwards. This is this is a real nice touch, this whole screen here. Um, max health. I don't know if I want the ship to move much faster. There does seem to be a limit to the amount of like upgrades we can get. So notice like I'm stacking upgrades on top of other nodes. So that is something to keep in mind, I guess, when you're building your ship, which again, it's also interesting. I like that there's a 20 minute timer. I think that's really good for this genre as someone who really loves 20 minutes to dawn. Sabers with lifesteal. What? Is that an upgrade? Swaps cannonballs for shrapnel cannonballs. Uh, give me the lifesteal sabers. Uh, yes, please. Oh, they're the red. We got weapon upgrades. Get absolutely wrecked. Okay, that's kind of sick. Crits do more damage. We don't really need that. I would like more armor. How much lifesteal did they? How much we stealing? Um, a not irrelevant amount. That's how much we're stealing. All right. I approve of all of this. I think it's very important when you're making games like this. Is this a merchant vessel? Or is it an elite? I can't tell. I think it's an elite. Um, it's really important in games like this that you have really cool upgrades. So I feel like... Um, I want that back. So if I want it back, I could just swap it like that. That's pretty good. I wish you kind of wish you could just grab it and like move it over, but that's a small, small bit of feedback. I know the dev is going to be watching this video, so it'll it it will go to the right place. Ooh, pistols increase damage for every future level. Claw of the occult heal for every 50 enemies sunk. Conqueror's cross doubles effect of adjacent upgrades. This is all right. This type of thing is the exact reason I was excited about this game. Because of this like node system, you can have really interesting upgrades. Um, I kind of wish I had planned this better. But I really just want to jam this right here. 
Yeah. We, we probably should get some more armor. Although, we could just get better crit chance. And have it doubled because of the cross. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, um... I, I really enjoy this, guys. If you haven't picked that up yet from the video. Whirlpool. Spawns Whirlpool, which damages enemies and the player. I'm going to choose not to get myself murdered. And then I'm going to drop a... Projectile amount over here. Yeah, that seems fine. We definitely want more projectiles. Um, it's not really synergistic with the swords, but... I feel like with everything else going on, it's kind of sweet. Projectiles spread out more. I don't know if that's... Do we care about that? What if... Okay, we have double the effect here. What if I just threw armor... We just get 10% more armor. Uh, is armor straight percent damage reduction or is it like that you take 20% less? We don't. If I hover over it, can I tell? Um, increase the max health. Let's just let's fly faster. That seems really good for the anchor. Can't. Yeah, if I hover over armor, I don't get anything. So that's something I would want to be clarified. But I feel like if it's just 20, if like we could get 100% armor, it would just be immortal. That I mean, that's fun, but also at the same time, kind of not fun. Also, they have guns now, which kind of scares me. We're too fast. We're too fast. Try to steal. We're, we're dying. Um, we need health. We should have taken that thing that heals us. Or maybe there's hearts on the, the ocean surface somewhere. That'd be neat. Max health again. I don't, I don't want to max health our, uh, actually, I'm going to put the max health right here. I don't want to put it next to our Conqueror's Cross, because I feel like we could do better. Um, but at the same time, like, you might have to, oh no. I may have, uh, turned a little too hard there, right into the ship. Crits do more damage, more max health, take less damage. Let's do that. We get 10% more armor. That guy spawned on top of us, basically. Is that a coin? Oh, no, that was a bomb. Oh. Eesh. Anchor spin in both directions. I feel like... I feel like we have to take the anchor upgrade. Okay, yeah, that's that's much better. Ow. We are surviving right now. Barely. Come on, life steal sabers. I need you to like We're simultaneously too fast and not fast enough. We just take more armor. I need to heal. Oh no, that's a bomb. Ooh. I keep thinking that's coins. I still keep thinking that's coins. I don't know why. My my brain has been tricked into into believing that. That little icon is always a coin. We could heal. Let's just take regular heal. Or regular HP. This little room. There's an arrow over there. Oh, maybe we can actually get some healing off of this. There's an elite ship here. Give me something good. Give me, um... Yeah, I'm gonna... 
do this. We'll get 10 more armor. <laughs> we, we've healed a bit. Cannons. Projectiles bounce more. Weapons shoot more projectiles. I mean, we gotta take the cannon upgrade, but like all of those were insane. Every 50 enemies we heal. Projectiles light enemies on fire. Move faster when traveling upwards. That's hilarious. Um, I would like... I would like to heal for every 50 enemies sunk, actually. We are trying to break the game and become immortal on our first run. That is my current strategy. Although we've almost died a few times now. Armor. Yep. We're at 60% armor now. Maybe once armor gets higher, we should take the ram. They're really just coming at our ship now. I don't know ship terms. Uh, increased chance to crit. We do want that. Part of me wanted to throw that next to the double, uh, the double node, but I think the double node is basically reserved for armor at this point. Oh, just slice him up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get in the blender. Armor. Oh, wait, what is this? Weapons fire fast. Nah, just, just give us our, just give us our armor. Absolutely. Full health. I knew the lifesteal sabers were going to be worth it. Just took time. Um, max health. That uh, doesn't really matter. We can just take ship turns faster. Our ship moves a little bit faster, maybe. The ship moves kind of slow right now. So maybe a little bit of speed wouldn't be bad. I'm going to run right into him. Bring it on. These are my waters, friends. 33. 12 minutes in. Oh, I would like, um, I'd like more armor, please. I can't. It would appear I've hit the armor cap. Can I put this one here? I can. Looks like I can't put another piece of armor around this, so maybe armor's capped out at 70? I'm not sure. I like how it just told me no, you're not allowed to break the game. Apparently this has been attempted before. Good job, devs. Good job. Um, I think even, I think with the 75% armor we're gonna be fine. We are, oh, there's a, that's a big ship. Uh, I would like British Towers to fly faster. I guess I can take that one. It's fine. Come here. Slice you up. Some real serious pirate battles right now. These little guys don't even matter. It's got a lot of HP. I'm actually having to like pay attention to my controls here. Is that a book? They look different from the other grades. Uh, crits do more damage. I would like that. Oh, it's a vacuum. Oh. We just got a lot of gold. And if I forget to edit that out, which I probably will, my phone just alerted me on something. Whirlpools, I still don't want that. Uh, projectiles bounce more. The problem is I don't think the anchors are gonna bounce. So what if we just do more projectiles here? Yeah, that's that's probably good.
Seems like something we want. Um, no, we can't put, like, additional nodes and more projectiles. They're their own thing. Which is important. It takes up a whole slot permanently. It is kind of an extremely strong effect, though. We filled up the cross as well. Crits. Uh, just damage. Just damage in general. Okay. We are... Ooh, burn peg leg. If only one weapon is connected, well, that's not going to happen. Increase its projectiles. I wonder if this is a... This is definitely a bug. Is that projectile size probably by 50%? Heart of the Kraken. Not back nearby enemies when you haven't tur turned for one second. That's fun. Um, no, we're going to take the burning. Now everyone is on fire. This does really remind me of like a ship base 20 minutes till dawn, which is pretty fantastic, I gotta say. Me more HP. Oh, that's a nice quality of life feature that the I didn't notice earlier is that your um, matching power ups light up when you're like hovering to slot one in. Burn spread. Burn spreads. Oh, when a burning enemy dies, light the surrounding enemies on fire. Yeah, that seems like something I'm interested in. Uh, the fact that that hasn't shown up before means there's probably, like, upgrade trees. Which is quite cool. I wonder what I'm going to do with all this gold. We have a lot. Uh, ram. Yeah, let's just take the ram. I feel like that's where we're at right now. Wow, it does damage. Oh, it's on the front? Nice. Yeah, let's go. Glorious. I was wondering how that was going to work. Amazing. Weapons do more damage. I would like that one. Seems to be percent based as well. Judging by the upgrades we got. It's getting crazy though. That's what I like to see. Uh, crit. Chance to crit up. Good. Chance to crit is good. Um, Max health? There's space for that, so let's go ahead and take it. We have become the ruler of the seas. Red weird, if you will. Um, I think shit moves faster, that's fine. I'm king of the pirates now, where's my one piece? Where is it? That's that's the end screen. You found the one piece. It's real. Um, I don't know how much I care about projectiles. I guess I do care about projectiles fly faster because of the because of the anchors. But at the same time, we've got two melee weapons, so not that big a deal. I feel like the 75 armor has paid off. Projectiles spread out a little more. I guess we could try this just for science purposes. Um, it's literally only affecting the cannons. That's, um, yeah, let's just ignore it then. The fact that I can tell, wow, I ruined that ship's day. The fact that I could tell that it only affects the cannons because of that screen is really nice. Real Pirates of the Caribbean battle right now. Um, short speed increase when ramming enemies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're zooming now. Maybe I should get better turn speed so I can, like, actually handle this thing. Ship turns faster. Yes, please. Look at us go. Oh, we hit a vacuum too. Nice, nice. We're almost level 50.
Um, deals more damage. I'll take deals more damage before ship turns faster, I think. I wonder if there's like ascension levels. Because I think my only feedback so far is the game might be a little too easy, but maybe that's just because like this is overpowered right here. This is like everything we're doing with that. More crit chance, you say? Um, don't mind if I do. There's a box. We have to get to the box. We must collect the loot. Get out of my way. <laughs> um, crits do more damage. I mean, that's probably fine. It's 20% more damage. That's good. I'd rather just turn faster at this point, though. Ooh, ooh. Increase damage with ship speed. Move faster on traveling upwards. Increase damage for a future level. Well, we should have taken that earlier, probably. Increase damage with ship speed. Oh, it's a lot. 26 damage up. And whenever we actually kill something with a ram, it's going to be more because we're moving faster. Wowzers. Uh, weapons shoot more projectiles. Oh, fire faster? Just 20% speed upgrade and it doesn't take up a node. For the cannons and the anchors, anyway. They're gonna have to send, like... I don't know. Davy Jones himself to come kill me at this point. Uh, another 20%. These anchors are really going now. Uh-oh. It's like, uh-oh, a little bit of lag there. Um, chance to crit? Sure, sure. But it's at over 50%, that's nice. Get out of my way. Oh, the little, the little tiny? Oh, they're, they're, they're bombers, I see. I see, it's a, it's a shame that I just don't even remotely care. I feel like if I was a glass cannon -y, I would probably be dead already. Good thing I got these anchors. Uh, the screen shake is a little much. Can we turn that off? Oh, look at all this. I didn't even open this menu or in game. Wishlist and Discord. And wait, view treasure? Oh, view your ship. Okay. Resume. Um. Yeah, an option to turn off screen shake would be nice. I'm going to say that because this is a little, I, a little much for me personally. I get a little nauseous sometimes when the screen shakes too much. I turn it off in a lot of games, so uh, that's some some feedback to the devs because I think there's not a small number of people like that who it, just the intensity of this is too much, like. A slider would be cool, but if you can't, just off and on with screen shake is fine. Uh, let's take this crit chance here. Leave the window open to upgrade more things. And what I'm worried about now is that there's going to be nothing but those bombing enemies, so the screen's just going to like keep shaking forever. Hopefully not. Looks like they've stopped coming for the most part. Pistol is not it. I guess we take move speed because it increases our damage. Um, it would be cool if this showed upgrades because we have the spyglass. Um, you know, like synergy, like because we have X, this also gives damage in the preview window. Just a uh, thought there. This is pretty enjoyable, though. I gotta say, it's. Um, I would like. Yeah, let's take moves faster. Let's do 138 now with the saber. I'm gonna just pay attention to the damage when we go back to that screen.
You know, if you could change your, like, flag colors and the ship you have, that would be pretty neat as meta progression upgrades. Um, I can't tell what our damage was. We've actually gone down. I think we were going fast before. Um, shoot more projectiles. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Seems like something we want. more anchors more guns plus we have the ram and the sword so like we're we're pretty covered i feel like having the lifesteal swords plus like seemingly armor capped <laughs> that ship got wrecked Ooh, all weapons fire when the player takes damage yeah yeah give me that yeah we be <laughs> We be taking damage a little bit. Uh, weapons fire faster. What if we just... What if we just moved faster? Yeah, we're getting a little bit of lag now, but that's alright. Um, needs some optimization. Like I said, this game doesn't actually have, like... You can't buy an early access. I don't even think there's a demo up. So this is literally for early testing. Um, but I do highly recommend um, wishlisting this one if you're a fan of, you know, survivor games and uh, pirates. Or if you like 20 minutes to dawn, because that's what this is reminding me of with plus this like little node system, which is really cool. And I think the fact that we've already got stuff like Voodoo Doll and Conqueror's Cross means that the devs are going in the right direction as far as um you know making interesting effects i guess we could take crit chance i don't know we probably could have just skipped there i don't think we need to turn any faster i think we're already plenty fine with that we're gonna have a lot of loot so much booty like an incalculable amount of booty. We're level 61. Is it possible that we end the run on level 69? For like maximum meme. Maximum memeing? Projectiles fly, fly faster is pretty good. I'm just gonna take a crit chance up though. Cause yeah, projectiles fly faster with anchor is kind of insane. I hope we have a- I hope there's a damage screen at the end. That's something the genre sometimes takes for granted. But it- It's like a way of informing you on your runs without like telling you what's best, you know? I don't know. I know what I'm trying to say? But like, oh, it's the Kraken. Yeah, let's go. Bring it. This is my, <laughs> these are my waters. Get out. Oh, he's dead. Ruined. Ruined. Um, Damage, thank you. Okay, that's kind of awesome. I, I, I like that. Oh, is he coming back? No, I think he's dead. I think I think we got it. We own these waters. Um, is there anything else in the last two minutes that's coming to get us? Two and a half was the crack, and are you maybe supposed to have that much time to actually defeat him? Oh, there's a... Looks like there's a horde coming. That's bad for them. Very, very bad. Look, I'm not saying throw Cthulhu in as, like, an optional boss, but, like... If you did throw a Cthulhu-type monster in, 
That's the final. I think having variant end bosses would be kind of neat. Maybe one can be the Kraken and another one could be like some like actual Davy Jones ship. Maybe one is like a whale. Straight up Moby Dick, but angry Moby Dick. I don't know. Just ideas I'm having while we uh, absolutely destroy the rest of this uh, minute here. It's been a fun playthrough, though. I uh, like I said, hopefully they add ascension levels. Maybe. I mean, I've played this genre a lot now, and I, I didn't come into the attention with an absolutely like breaking the game. I thought we were gonna lose, but you know, sometimes you just the build falls into your lap and you take it, which is fun, right? You normally don't win your first run of these types of games, though. Like I, myself included, it's just not the way the genre works. But um. Yeah, I would like to see more like different difficulties or stuff and whatnot, but like for for a game that you can't even try a demo of yet. I'm pretty impressed. I got to say I do enjoy it. This is something I could see playing on like my chill time on the Steam Deck or something. OK, this needs work. This this is not victory. The problem is I can barely see victory, first of all. Uh, and everything stops. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that one. Please give us feedback. Yes, this will open your vote <laughs> browser. <laughs> Maybe yet later. I, I've given it a little bit of feedback. Oh, um, I can't. It, it would appear the game has crashed. Maybe later. I can't do anything. Menu. Mar, thanks for playing. Um, OK, yeah, that's all it is for now. But um, I got to say that was fun. Uh, if you do want to wishlist it, I'll put a link in the description below and a link to the discord if you want to check in with the community. The dev's pretty active. He's messaged me a few times because we've been talking about this game. Uh, I'm impressed. I look forward to this one later in the year. So keep an eye out for Sea of Survivors. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if you thought this game was pretty cool or if you want to see other ones like it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later.